unboxing today for the Fisher Price infant to toddler rocker. Uh, I'm here with mom. She's helping me record. Uh, we've been needing like a swing for a while. But this is a rocker, and we're gonna try it out. We got it on Amazon for forty dollars, and right now Amazon has the the trial for their Prime, which is free two-day shipping and movies and all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't hurt to check it out. Just got it today in the mail. Let's see if I can open this up. Um, what I liked about this too, some of, the, some of the things that I pay attention to when ordering this stuff is that um, it's 40 pound maximum weight. So that's good. You know, you can hold a, I guess a toddler. Some of them have smaller weights and, you know, if you're gonna spend money, you wanna get the most bang for your buck, right? So it requires a 1D battery, which is not included, and of course we don't have that. It includes three buttons, so we don't have D batteries, right? <laughs> and it also says here, adult assembly required, right? And look at all these pieces. Can you see this on the camera? Yeah. Okay. Holy moly. I did not think I was going to be setting up a whole, there's screw bits and pieces. Oh my god. Maybe I'll make this a video about putting this together. Come with instructions. Okay, step one, position each side rail so that the button faces outward. So that's how I have it right here. The side buttons are facing outward. And then while pressing a tab on the ends of the seat, back tube insert into the sockets and each side rail until the tab snap. So, it's this part here. There's a metal little tab there. So we have to push this in here, push the little metal tab, push all the way in and it snaps in. Same thing here. So it snaps. Step two, slide the Slide the socket on a foot onto the tapered end of the side rail. So I have the feet here, but the big part down, you gotta slide it in. Make sure you slide it into this hole, not over here, or else it's not gonna be correct. So you slide it in there. For step three, there's a peg here. You gotta make sure the peg connects to this hole. So it should be a snug fit. If it's loose, you're not doing it right. Same thing here. Snug fit, put the peg into the, to the hole, and that's step two and three. Step three says fit the peg on the inside of the foot into the hole on the end of the side rail. So there you go. Step four, with the vibrations unit facing forward, make sure it's facing forward and the little part here facing down. Fit the notches onto the unit side rails as shown and use the M5 50 millimeter screw uh, through the outside of each side rail into the ends of the vibration unit. So we got four of these 50 millimeter screws Pick this up, line it up to the side, push the screw in. Okay, and that's step four. All right, step five, insert the ends of the kickstand into the socket of each foot. Insert a 50 millimeter screw into the hole of each side rail and tighten. So here's a kickstand. You're gonna place it like this, push it into the side holes here. And then take your 50 millimeter screws, screw them in. You gotta give it a push so it goes in there or else you're gonna be turning forever. Okay. Now 
make sure the holes are lined up in there too. There we go. Give it a push in there. Okay, and that's step five. Okay, step six. Fit the cross brace between the side rails. The cross brace is designed to fit one way, so if it doesn't seem to fit, turn it around. So guys, this is what happened to me. Make sure you put this on the side that has two holes, because this metal piece that's sticking out, it goes in one hole, and then the screw goes to the other one. If you have it the wrong way, it's not going to fit correctly, and it's going to be like lopsided. So just be careful with that, right? So I want to put this the correct way, the brace. Leave in between. Okay, step seven. Insert the 30 millimeter screw through the outside of each side rail and into the end of the cross brace. All right. So taking the 30 millimeter screw, sliding it in, sliding it in. Okay. And it says, important, please follow the next assembly uh, carefully to complete, completely secure the cross base to the side rails. So step eight, fit a retainer with the lock nut onto the end of the screw and to the inside of the side rail and tighten the screw. So this is the lock nut here, okay. Goes inward like this. Okay, so the lock nut goes this way. When you're putting it in, make sure the like the back end is facing like towards the front. You'll know by the way it fits in. If it doesn't fit in snug and correctly, then you're doing it the wrong way. So you screw it in here. Okay, nice and snug this time. That's step eight. All right guys, step nine, fit the upper pocket on the pad onto the seat back tube. So this is the seat back tube, this is the pocket here. So you're gonna slide this part around there, okay? And step 10, fasten the buckle on the back of the pad to the buckle on the cross brace. So the cross brace is down here and there's a buckle hanging here. So you push it together, make sure it snaps, okay? Uh, and step 11, fit the lower pocket on the pad onto the vibrations unit. Fit the front edges of the vibration units through the large opening in the front of the pad. So, this is what they're talking about here. You're going to slide this over onto here. Right there, and that completes that step. As in the last step, step 12, fasten the buckles on the side of the pad around each side rail. So, put this around here like this. There's a bottom uh, thing that it fastens to. It just locks in like that. I can show you guys here. So make sure you bring this around the metal part. Uh, fasten it there. And that's the last step for that. This, uh, this toy also comes with this little attachment here with the toys on there, you just slide it in through the top, clips in like that. There's some batteries in here. The batteries that are in there are called LR44 and it comes with those batteries. And the batteries it doesn't come with is the D batteries that goes in the vibrations unit. That's the end of this assembly. We're going to be doing a follow-up video with mom and dad. 
uh, with what we thought about this product and how baby likes it. And also when we hit 100 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a little special giveaway. Please hit like, comment, subscribe, give me your feedback. This is our first assembly video. Credit to mom for helping out with the video and assisting. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate it, thank you guys.